ratios. A ratio is a comparison between two or more similar quantities. Here we see that the blue line is five times as large as the red line. The ratio of the red line to the blue line is 1 to 5. It is written 1 colon 5 or in fractional form as 1 over 5. The ratio of the value of the blue chips versus the red chips. Before a ratio can be stated, the units must be the same. Here each blue chip is worth $1 and each red chip is worth $5. Thus, with the blue chips I have $8 but with the red chips I have $25. A ratio is written without units. Thus the ratio is 8 to 25. The terms of a ratio may be multiplied or divided without altering the value of the ratio. We always state a ratio in its lowest form. A ratio should not contain fractions or decimals. In the diagram on the left, we have two thirds represented and three quarters on the right. To compare these fractions easily, we express them over the same denominator. Two thirds is the same as eight over 12 and three quarters is the same as nine over 12. So we have 8 twelfths and 9 twelfths. So in terms of twelfths, the ratio is 8 to 9. Or, remembering that two terms may be multiplied without altering the value of the ratio, we can multiply both by 12. Multiplying both by 12 would give 8 for the left diagram and 9 for the right diagram. A ratio of 8 to 9. Now that we know what ratios represent, let us work through two examples to see how ratios are used. Example 1. We want to divide $100 in a ratio of 3 to 2. Ratios are a comparison between similar quantities. So we divide $100 into 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 equal parts. And we separate it into 3 parts and 2 parts. $100 divided by 5 is equal to $20. Three parts or three portions is thus equal to 3 multiplied by $20, which is equal to $60. And the two parts is equal to 2 multiplied by $20, which is equal to $40. And of course, if we add $60 to $40, we will get back the $100 we started with. Example 2. Here, a particular sum of money was divided into 3 plus 7, which is equal to 10 equal parts. 7 of the parts, or the larger amount, was $49. So, 7 parts is equal to $49. Then, of course, one part must be equal to, if 7 is 49, one part is equal to $7. So we are asked, how much was the smaller amount? The smaller amount, that is three parts. Three parts is equal to three multiplied by $7. It's equal to $21. The answer is $21. I am Mr. Dubé. Remember, to get the most out of my channel, please view the videos in order using the playlist. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.